guys, Mubarak here of Invest HQ. Before we dive deeper into the blockchain transactions, how to trade successfully, and just even a further deeper understanding of how we're going to make money with crypto, I really want to talk about more of getting you up to speed with what a Bitcoin transaction is and really wrapping your head around how the blockchain technology works. So I found this really good infographic from CB Insights that really shows the step-by-step -step process that occurs when a Bitcoin transaction is occurring. And even though this isn't integral to your trading profits and your success on that field, having a general understanding of what is going on with Bitcoin will allow you to understand more of, of the industry. And really, that's what it takes to be successful. You need to understand not only your niche, but the overall market. Um, and if you're going to be, uh, if you're going to make the decision to really be successful in this, you need to be all in. All right. And that's what I want to help you guys get to. I want this to be the A to Z step by step course and lessons. And that's what my focus is going to be in, in this course and all my videos in general for blockchain, Bitcoin, crypto, and really mastering it. So together, that's what our goal is going to be. So let's kind of dive right into how a Bitcoin transaction works and what are the different steps involved. And this will really give you an overarching concept of, okay, this is what Bitcoin is. So let's start off, right? Alice sends Bob to Bitcoin. So again, Bitcoin is like a medium of exchange. It's a digital asset. Sends the request on the blockchain. Now, as we mentioned before, the blockchain is almost like the cloud or it's a whole network of video of different uh, computers, databases, right? Running. So this is like a nice little Im image of it. And now that's the actual request. That's how people are involved. Now, I know everyone has heard of Bitcoin mining and I have courses on that. Bitcoin mining is this is where it comes into play. When the transaction is sent, right, there's this ledger, Alice sending it to Bob. You need someone to verify the transaction. OK, so that is done when someone like in this scenario they are pretty much running their computers. They're using their GPU, their CPU, right? Whatever runs your computer, they're using that to verify the transaction. Now, the actual process of that is very detailed and complex, um, but people don't do it themselves. It's just computers running their algorithms and running what they need to do. It runs the software and uses your computers like resources and hardware, electricity, and that's kind of how it gets done. But the goal of it essentially is to verify the transaction. And that helps, inc uh, you know, continue the blockchain. That's what makes Bitcoin so powerful is this process right here of the miners verifying the transaction. This is what's allowing blockchain to be secure and non-hackable and verifiable. That's the checks and balances system that keeps it good. And let's go further along the process, right? You see here three to append a block to the chain, right? The blockchain. Miners solve a math puzzle. Now, don't worry. You're not doing any math yourself. You're just running uh, your computer to solve it. And as I just said, this protects the blockchain against hackers because you can't fake the transactions. The miners are the ones who are making sure everything is authentic and legit. And that's what allows Bitcoin to run successfully. So people don't have to worry about, um, you know, falsified information, banks being in control of everything. Um, really allows for a proper decentralized environment to be built for uh, for transactions. Okay, others in the network check the miners work. And that's where the Bitcoin miners and the normal people kind of come into play. Um, once it's verified, uh, the majority of miners in the network approve the block. The miner who solved the puzzle gets paid in Bitcoin. So this is why you hear about all those Bitcoin miners, right? When they're running their computers, they're running their Bitcoin mining rigs. You know, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Kodak even recently decided to come out with a rig which quadrupled their stock size and, and market cap from like three to twelve dollars, something insane. Um, but that's what it is. They're basically mining using your computer's resources, your hardware, hard drive, uh, video, computer chip, all of that. Um, so yeah, once it gets approved five, it gets added to the blockchain and Bob receives it, right? So that's the whole kind of process. That's why miners are involved. That's what keeps it all secure. That's what protects the blockchain, right? And there's a lot of interesting ramifications that can occur now due to this decentralized situation. Um, so 
I hope this wasn't too confusing. I know it might sound a little complex, but to be honest, this method of transactions is actually better than the traditional method, you know, and it allows for actually the world as a whole and the community to be the deciding factor, right? We've become so reliant on big banks and our credit card processing companies to just handle everything. And for the average person, it might not seem like a big deal. It might not seem any type of problem, but really this Bitcoin transaction setup and the way this technology was created and outlined and built by, you know, starting with Satoshi with Bitcoin, um, this is kind of how the blockchain technology works. We're also going to look, you know, some other altcoins work differently. Ethereum works a little differently. And the process of the way blockchain technology is going to evolve is going to be very interesting to follow. And I'm going to keep you guys updated with that. But I just wanted to make this quick video on understanding Bitcoin transactions, how blockchain technology actually works specifically to Bitcoin. So you have a better understanding of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really, you know, take some notes, really absorb the information, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.